Why, look, it's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. <laughs> we pay the prices Mr. Bedford knows are fair. And what he knows is sound. Ah, it is hearty molasses and raw cane. That's a given. It gladdens me to hear your saying so. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It was a good harvest this year. You might not talk so loud, sir. 
This isn't anything like a friendly port, Ken. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with a chap just now. We came to quite an understanding. As you say, sir. All up and done, well, boys. We're going home. Is your reason of Scotland? Captain, you have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. The look I've seen before. You mark well, I did. I just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping, and it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Hold at it. There's trouble a fall. I see them. I think we're clear, sir. This man's working for Peter Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckfords and their sugar empire? Aye. The Beckfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked a plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juice. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous. It must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers and cross the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the waters from the sugar. This we did in tatches made of copper. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin will stick like wood lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. a risk to anchor too close. The soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackdaw. such disarray. Bit of a do, sir, that's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. We have everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here, young man. By pirates, if my eyes on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. 
certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? Is there no one over here? Check me the warehouse key, if you please. The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! Hold on! Shit! Alarm! Alarm! Too much action. Be empty in the old country just to have a few souls in all the dirt east, lady. Not paid to ask questions, are you? Just keep to the brick shit out of routine. Let someone else do the brainy bit. Get over. I don't see him. Coward. You. Uh, uh, Decent call. 